Hello, Libra. Welcome to your May Soul session. I am, whoa, Marlo, if you're new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend. So we're going to go ahead and jump into you guys' cards and I like it already. Okay, I have to remember not to do this because... <laughs> You guys know I had like the video in the reverse and like, you know, I kept doing this so you'd see it upright, but I fixed it and I'm still programmed to do it. So I'm sorry, Libra, but the card that you guys have is, and please pay attention, not pay attention to my chip nails. Don't, don't pay attention to that. It says fulfillment. It says attainment, accomplishment, content, peace of mind, enjoyment, nostalgia, pleasant, and memories. That is so freaking beautiful. So what it is looking like, my beautiful Librans, coming into wonderful Taurus season, coming into May, coming into springtime, you guys are feeling a sense of personal contentment, whether that's about your career, whether that's about your life, whether that's about your personal development, relationships, friendships, what have you. It's almost as if you guys have reached, um, and no pun intended, but it's almost as if you guys have reached um, a certain pinnacle in your life, if you will. It's coming to a place where it's not necessarily that life is perfect or ideal or, you know, you're making goo gobs of money or, you know, whatever. It's not about any of that. It's like you guys are literally just content and fulfilled with the way that things are. And I think that's a beautiful way to um, approach our life experiences or just life as we know it, right? Because it means that you've reached a certain level of awareness to where your ability to be positive, your ability to be happy, your ability to enjoy life is not contingent upon external circumstances. It's all contingent upon what you feel within yourself. So congratulations to you, Libra, with your old balanced self. Anywho, next card that you guys have is pen. Ooh, speaking of jobs, it says new job or career. Then we have barrel and it says you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals. And I would say for those of you um, Librans who aren't coming into the month feeling fulfilled, that's more or less everything I just said to that first group of Libras is what your challenges are going to be for the month of May. And I don't want to say challenges in the sense of, you know, like, you know, obstacles or anything, but challenge in the sense of that's the standard that you're being called to rise up to, right? And I think for a lot of you that may end up coming in the form of a new business, a new career promotion or something of the sort. But for those of you who aren't feeling that fulfillment coming in and you're thinking, you know, it's love, like I'm single or, you know, I'm not making enough money or, you know, what have you. It has nothing to do with those external things. It's all about your inner state. And it's you being clear on what it is that you desire and something that can help you to feel more fulfillment and contentment is if you're aspiring towards something. Because I feel in, you know what, this is actually really funny. Um, And this is a, a tangent, but it's a relevant tangent. When I was running yesterday with one of my friends on the river, um, her and I were having that discussion about um, some people that I know that um, like throughout the course of my life who, you know, never really had like an end goal. And I was telling her like almost the lifeblood of the human experience is having an ultimate end goal, because when you have an end goal, it creates boundaries for you. So you can look at life from the perspective of, is this in service to the end goal or is this a disservice to the end goal? So it makes you feel more empowered with what you're choosing to do or choosing not to do every day. So I would say for those Librans who don't yet feel this sense of fulfillment, it can start with something as simple as you creating an end goal because it makes you, it almost is kind of like cheating the system a little bit because it's how you can um, extract your life purpose or extract meaning or provoke yourself into motivation because you know that you're working towards something, if that's making sense. Now, the next card you guys have is claw and it says, be careful, do not take risks. And what I feel with this Libra, it's almost kind of like, um, and this would go to my little second group of Libras, 
this would be speaking to like fool in the reversed kind of energy where you're feeling kind of mundane you're feeling kind of monotonous about life or your experience you're feeling kind of stagnated you feel like something's missing what have you and a lot of times when we get into that space we want to just get out of it so we can kind of uh leap before we look <laughs> you know what i'm saying or uh make less than stellar decisions take you know kind of crazy risks just because we're kind of chasing um like how do i want to say it like we're trace we're chasing like adrenaline or we're chasing like a high like we're looking for something to just break the monotony and that's something that you guys don't want to do so i feel even if this comes in the form of um what is up with my lighting um even if this comes in the form of another person because i feel that's a potential too where um and this is going to be a crazy scenario it's kind of like if you had like a crazy friend from high school that always like was into wild and reckless stuff you haven't talked to the person in a while you know you're out at starbucks getting a coffee you run into them and they're like oh you want to hang out this weekend and you're like sure and they like want to go on this crazy like hangover movie level like adventure it's like i feel those of you who feel that you're lacking that fulfillment you may be tempted to do something like that just to break the monotony. But I feel this is forewarning you to not do that because this is all about um, cultivating it from within. So first card out, you guys have Libra. Well, here we go. I was about to do it again. You guys have the four of cups. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like this potential that you guys have, it's almost like looking into the external world for it. Mercury retrogrades coming. So y'all, when it gets in my mouth, it be in my mouth. Anywho, but um, like I said, with this barrel card, it's looking to the external world for something to fulfill you, for something to give you life, for something to give you meaning because you're in this stagnant, like, you know, monotonous kind of stage. And what my guides are telling me to tell my beautiful Librans is the reason why you guys are in this stasis or why it is that you're feeling kind of stagnated is because you guys are in transition. So this nine times out of 10 is speaking to, um, and of course this is energy coming into May, this is speaking to um, that eclipse that happened on the 30th of April. So that closed like this massive seven year cycle that we were in and we're starting a new seven year cycle, but we're kind of in that liaison phase so you're in a transitional um, phase. And I feel as of now, the purpose of this is us living in 3D and, you know, the last seven years in some way, shape, form or fashion of our lives, this cycle closes. And now it's us pivoting at this crossroads into the more spiritual or ethereal um, path, right? And that's what I feel this pretty little cup that we have with the rainbow shooting out of it is all about for you guys but don't be too hard on yourself. Don't take any crazy kind of risks because this is just kind of like, if we were to look at it like the is not is paradigm, this is like the is not that manifests before the is. So if you guys are feeling kind of stuck, if you don't know what's next, you don't really know what to do because you know you can't go backwards innately in some way, shape or form. You know you can't step back to what it is that we just came out of. It's just that what we're doing next hasn't come fully into fruition yet. The next card that we have, look at that, is the Six of Swords. So that's the whole thing. If I were to say what it is I'm seeing, because it's so cute. I would like to look at this girl in the Four of Cups as sitting on the edge of the water, right? And, you know, wondering if a ship is ever going to come for her, if the ferry is ever going to come, like, are we ever going to get out of here? And this is saying, like, going into the first two weeks of um, May with the Six of Swords, you're leaving all of that behind. So all of this stag, blah, I cannot talk, y'all. <laughs> all of this stagnant kind of energy that my Libras who resonate with this may be feeling, my advice to you, just telling you right off the bat, it's not going to lie in you taking a risk or you just throwing caution to the wind, jumping head first into something to break the monotony. It's all about you having patience and waiting on spirit because whatever, you know, 
place in your life you guys are in, if you're waiting to hear back from a job, if you're wondering if you should apply for another job, whatever it is that you guys are uh, dealing with, know for sure that you're coming out of this experience. This is just your little liaison phase. Now, the next card that we have is the two of Pentacles in the reverse. So now we're getting into you guys' personal work here. The whole thing you don't want to do, um, Libra, because why I feel like this is coming out like, you know, letting you know this is what's going on. Like how you guys come into the month of May, this is just temporary. It's not always going to be like that. You guys are going to ultimately transition out of this energy. But something I always forewarn everyone about is whenever spirit wraps up a karmic cycle, <laughs> spirit's going to do spirit's job, right? Us holding up our end of the bargain is making sure that we leave our baggage behind, right? Because the only way that a karmic cycle that has ended can be relived is if we choose to relive it, which means that when we're at this crossroads, we have an opportunity to come out of agreement with what it is that we've been doing. Ow, I just hit my elbow. <laughs> when we come out of a karmic cycle, we have an opportunity to leave behind how it is that we were, you know, uh, dealing with people, how we were approaching things, how we were, you know, seeing the world, how we were seeing our experience, what have you, right? But if we take that baggage into the new cycle, right, or we maintain that same mindset, we can inadvertently recreate our past in the present and thus into the future. So something that's important for you guys, I feel, is a sense of um, reflection. So if we were to look at this fulfillment and pose it as a question, it's more or less, and take into account what this uh, Four of Cups is saying and what I saw in the barrel, the barrel card. I don't know why I cannot talk today, Libra. I'm so sorry. But anyway, it's Libra doing a little bit of self-reflection and asking yourself, what would be fulfilling for you? Like, what would be contentment for you? What would be enjoyable? What would be an ultimate end goal that you would like to achieve? And challenge yourself to not think about it in a 3D sense, right? And my guys just told me with her, she's looking towards her past because I feel with this, like where these two cards um, align with each other, with this being emotions and then this coming into like 3D actually with you guys taking action on something. The call is for you guys to move out of an old mindset with this six of swords, like this old way of being, thinking, perceiving, engaging with things, right? This is something that your call is to change. And it's about you guys almost, wow, this is so interesting. This is now becoming a whole thing. It's because the thing I just heard was uh, people pleasing. This is interesting. Okay, gosh. So this comes into the whole um, Libra look. This is why this is so funny. Let me just go ahead and say it. So here's the thing. As I'm recording this, and mind you, this is a, a relevant tangent. Like whenever I seemingly go off on tangents, Libra, I know y'all understand this. Y'all blew up my channel. So y'all understand how I communicate. I love y'all so much. Like I'm going off on a very relevant tangent because everything I'm saying totally makes sense to what my point is. Because uh, I was talking to a Libra before I recorded this and I was like, I don't know why. So I literally woke up this morning and the way that I've been doing all of the zodiac signs is in order, right? So of course we started with Taurus because it's Taurus season and I was going all the way around the zodiac wheel. But for some reason this morning when I woke up, I felt that's not what I should do because the next sign I was supposed to record was supposed to be Leo. But I was like, I'm not supposed to record Leo right now. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get my little um, Zodiac dice and throw it. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, Libra ended up coming out and my autofocus isn't being nice. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So Libra ended up coming out. So that's why I'm recording you guys. But I'm thinking about everything that has transpired up until me recording this right now. And even like how I was telling you guys when I was running with my friend yesterday and how that ties into this. And I'm literally thinking about what I was talking to uh, Seren the Healer, who's a Libra, 
I was talking to her on the phone right before um, I recorded this. And it's some things that I was talking to her about, like just different downloads and stuff that I've gotten. And I'm seeing how all of that is like messages for Libra, but I'm also not surprised because what Libra has done this entire time I've had my channel. Y'all blew up my channel. All of the important collective messages have come through you guys signed. So I'm kind of not surprised, but with me hearing people pleasing from my guides, I was talking to Ren about how this shift that has happened, it's almost as if we have this karmic cycle that we just got out of <laughs> from like 2016 up until now, it had a lot of people in the collective to where it's like you were getting screwed over. It was one-sided relationships. It was pretty much like six of pentacles in the reverse, right? There was a lack of reciprocity. There was a lot of you know, people pleasing, you know, um, a lack of reciprocity, bending over backwards for people and that not being um, reciprocated to you. But now with this cycle ending, right, it's like the new season that you're coming into, which is making perfect sense to me of like what they're showing me with these two cards and with this one is there has to be a mental shift and you have to come out of agreement with this past karmic cycle because you have to understand what a karmic cycle means like everything that it is that we go through in life but if we just keep it small what you've gone through for the last seven years that wasn't like god punishing you or because god hates you or because you weren't doing enough and that was like my one of my first thoughts waking up this morning was God doesn't bless us because how good we are. God blesses us because of how good God is, right? So we're coming out of this antiquated age of this transactional type of love, right? Which is a conditional love. And that's also what this last cycle was about. The reason why the Libras <laughs> who would resonate with this, the reason why you guys people please is because you were under this misconception and this conditioning that all of humanity is under of a transactional form of love. So it's the thought, if I'm pleasing to people, I get acceptance. If, you know, I'm nice to people, then they'll embrace me. You know, if I show this person, I really love them, then they'll love me back. But I think how every Libra kind of got marred by life is because you did all of those things. You laid yourself out on the cross and none of that stuff was reciprocated. So now when you're at this proverbial crossroads or four of cuffs after this eclipse, you're looking back on all of this stuff that you have experienced over the last seven years. And the truth is you're not fulfilled you're not happy, you're not content with your life because you're asking yourself, like, the only thing I've ever wanted was to be happy. And it's like, I've done all of this, but for what? Like, what was it all for? You know, I've let all these people borrow money. I've given all these people jobs. I've, you know, loved all of these people. And here I am left with nothing, right? But that's a lie because <laughs> you're not left with nothing. The key is, is that you've been looking outside of yourself. And I know this is going to sound so cliche, but you've been looking outside of yourself and not knowing that what you're looking for truly exists within yourself. Your fulfillment begins and ends with you. But I feel also in this last seven year cycle, Librans have been looking externally, whether it's because of like a certain amount of money you want to make, you having a job like a certain job title, you having a certain type of partner, driving a certain type of car, living in a certain place, like your misconception about life up to this point has been that your fulfillment lies in those things. And this cycle taught you it doesn't. But this pivotal point that you're in now is you could choose to move forward with this baggage I'm talking about and the two of pentacles in the reverse of like, oh, you know, you know, I went through all this stuff, it doesn't make sense. And now I'm gonna choose to become what it is that other people were to me. I'm not invested in nobody no more. 
I'm not helping nobody no more. I'm not bending over backwards for people. That's what you don't want to do, <laughs> Libra. Because <laughs> look at, at this little claw card. That would be like a foolish risk, right? Like how I was saying, like the crazy friend from high school, that would be a crazy risk because that would be completely missing the boat. <laughs> You know, some of us, she was sitting by the edge of the water waiting on a boat. That's hilarious. But that would be totally missing the boat of what the karmic lesson was, right? It's like the karmic lesson is not about what other people are doing, but how it is that you're responding to what other people are doing and acknowledging the fact that what motivated a lot of your actions and behaviors in the previous cycle was a desire for love and acceptance. And you attempted to get that through people pleasing, right? And that got you nowhere, right? So the key isn't to go all the way to the other side of the Likert scale and say, F people, right? I'm not giving because then you would end up becoming exactly what people did to you. But it's about you coming into like a stasis or balance of having boundaries and understanding the right time for things. It's like you looking for fulfillment within yourself, like what your ultimate end goal is and you working in accordance with that and how you come to that stasis goes back to what I was talking to my homegirl about when we were running yesterday. And it's that end goal. It's like when you identify what your end goal is, what you want for your life, what your ultimate state of happiness is or, or where you uh, like who you ultimately want to be or what have you. And you set that in your mind of that's what you're working towards then that's when we can use my method of end goals where you choose who to engage with, who not to engage with, who to invest in and who not to invest in contingent upon your ultimate end goal. So if people are in service to your end goal, then we can fool with that. If people are not in service to your end goal and they could potentially take you off path, then we're not fooling with that, right? So that's how you guys reclaim uh, control over your life in so many words. So I feel that's really what the whole um, lesson of this particular month is. It's putting you guys back in the driver's seat. Now, the next card that we have is the 10 of cups in the reverse. Yeah, man, that's exactly what I was saying. I love when that happens. That's exactly what I was saying. It, you're unfulfilled. Like <laughs> the 10 of cups in the reverse is like the ultimate card of unfulfillment right? What it is that you really want, you don't have. You thought you knew what it was you wanted, or you thought you knew the method. And I'm not going to be repetitive and say the same thing I just said, because literally everything I just said is this card that I just now turned over. <laughs> but it's you coming back into alignment with what it is that you want, Libra, because what it is you guys are leaving behind in this last cycle or what you guys are walking away from in April that's never what you wanted in the first place, right? Now, the next card, whoa, that's what I'm talking about. We got the Ace of Wands come through Libra. So with the Ace of Wands, dude, it's all about getting back to your passion, getting back to your fire, to your desire. Like, why am I hearing this song by Rick James? Fire and desire, baby. Okay, sorry. Anyway, but <laughs> it's all about getting back to what sets your soul on fire. Like literally, if I were to look at this four of cups and this ace of wands, it's like, this is like the proverbial flame that's burning in this bowl. I feel along the way with the people pleasing. And of course that can go back to, you know, cause we've been talking a lot about freaking past life karma this month, with it, which I find to be so uh, interesting, but whether it's past life karma is childhood trauma, it doesn't matter what it is. It like all of that is completely irrelevant at this point. It's just the fact that something got you off track. You thought that a certain method of putting other people before yourself or, you know, chasing some type of external state. And I think what the first group of Libras, I cannot freaking talk. <laughs> the first group of Libras that I was speaking to, how I was saying you guys are like content and fulfilled. This would go for you guys too, because it could be one of those things. And I saw this for Aquarius, uh, like last year, it's like you do all of this work to get to this certain place in your life and you're fulfilled because yeah, I got to this place, but it's like, you're not content because you thought, well, you're content, but you're not fulfilled. Because it's uh, for that first group of Libras, what I could see 
is, okay, so I've accomplished all of this stuff. Like I started the business, I got the job, I got the wife, car, kids, whatever it is. But it's like, why am I still not happy? Why do I still feel like something is missing, right? And the trick is to make you think that it exists outside of what it is that you have. And it's not that, it's just the fact that that's a, an antiquated, you know, um, goal or standard that a lot of our parents have told us being at this certain, you know, going to college, going to make you happy, being married, going to make you happy, having kids, going to make you happy, but it doesn't. Anything that you do that, you know, is you engaging with something in the outside world and doesn't begin and end with you, that's always going to be a form of like temporary fulfillment or happiness, right? But I always liken like the ace of wands to like purpose, because it doesn't matter if, you know, all of your friends and family turn their back on you, your partner leaves you, you lose your job, you lose your house, you lose your car, you lose all of your money. Something that no one can ever take away from you is your purpose. Like when you come in an agreement with what it is that you believe that you're here for, and this is a whole nother message for someone that's out there. If you're somebody who is looking for your life purpose, right? And those of you who have taken uh, my, uh, my purpose prescription course, you guys know that. It's not about another person telling you what your purpose is. That whole course is about me helping people to, you know, unravel themselves like an onion so that your purpose can reveal itself to you, right? But with this Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands to me is that, that flame that's burning inside of you of why it is that your soul incarnated here in the first place. And once you come in alignment with that, that's something that no human being can ever possibly take away from you. That can't ever be robbed from you because it's yours, whether you have stuff or you don't. And that's what that fulfillment is. Because every day that you wake up, everything you do, like, and that would be the ultimate um, <laughs> end goal. Like your ultimate end goal would be unearthing your life purpose because then job titles don't matter. You know what I mean? Like whether you own a business or you work somewhere, like all that stuff is irrelevant because if you're walking in your purpose every day, that's the only thing that, that gives you life that sets you on fire, if that's making sense. And the last card you guys have is the five of swords in the reverse. I'm here for it. So here's the thing, my beautiful Librans, what it's been looking like for me, for you guys is more or less you guys have been in battle <laughs> but the battle that you guys have been fighting has been in your own mind. It's you have the opportunity to move forward now. And I mean, it doesn't even matter if you had the opportunity to move forward several times before that that's all completely irrelevant. Cause the only thing that matters is today. I'm not saying that that's the case, but I'm just saying, if that's a thought that crossed your mind, just bump all of that. Right. The only thing that matters is right now right? You know what you've gone through. You know that everything that you've seen for the last seven years, that ain't what you want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't jive with it. You don't fool with it. It's not what's hot in the streets right now, right? So it's making the decision to turn away from that because that's out of alignment with you. It's not in agreement with you. The month of May is about you guys taking a step back and really thinking about what it is that you want. Don't force yourself, don't try to make it a project or anything like that, but think about what it is that brings you joy, what sets your soul on fire, right? And then look back at your life and look at what things are holding you back from that. So I think the reason why my guides were saying people pleasing is because when we look at this two of pentacles in the reverse, it's more or less, okay, I can't do this anymore. I'm moving forward or an opportunity comes to where you guys are able to move forward. I can already tell you what you're moving forward towards. It's you coming into alignment with what your uh, soul purpose is, if you will. But so this is like the energy signature of what's coming in to kind of like cut the monotony, but your personal responsibility of how it is that you meet spirit halfway, right? And how you overcome this battle that has been warring in your head for all of this time is by you guys choosing to release the baggage. And an example of this baggage would be people pleasing. Is you putting other people before yourself or a transactional form of love 
thinking that you need to be something or do something or do too much of something or do too little of something in order to get someone to, you know, reciprocate to you, love you, whatever the case is, right? It's that old way of maneuvering, you know, trying to, you know, keep the peace or, you know, um, uh, go along to get along. It's like, leaving all of that behind and you being unapologetically yourself. Because I feel with this five of swords, when it was upright, past tense, right? You guys kind of straddling the fence and trying to keep everyone happy and consistently compromising and, you know, sacrificing your happiness for everyone else and not really speaking up and speaking your truth. It's like, it kept the peace but you gain nothing in the process. And I think I said that to uh, your Venetian brethren and sister in, in Taurus. It's like, if you have been self-compromising or people pleasing or sacrificing your own happiness for the benefit of others, but if it's not benefiting you, then what's really the point? Because it means that you're denying yourself a true human experience because you're suffering in silence, you're unhappy, but you're making sure everyone external to you is Gucci, right? And that's not fair to yourself. So whatever that is for you, because for all of you, it may not be people pleasing, but I do feel it's, it's in that vein of it's some form of self-compromise. And I feel your relationships and connections with people reflect that because the energy signature you were sitting in was like, oh, I don't want to rock the boat. So I'm not going to say anything, Right. So that means you're denying yourself something that would give you fulfillment. You're showing up in that energy signature. Now people external to you are doing the same thing. It's like, they're going to take advantage of you and who it is that you are and, you know, take, 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 but they're never going to give this new cycle that you guys are coming into. It's about you finally receiving, right? Because I feel like you guys have already given enough. But in order for you to receive, you have to first give to yourself. So it's more or less you doing what you've done for others for yourself now, Libra. So I'm going to go ahead and pick from this deck that Spirit told me to pick for you guys, <laughs> the Angel uh, Guidance Oracle. And let's see. Let me get one card for... Libra, one card for Libra. That's the one. Look at that. And it's ask. It says, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is, ha, is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. This is so freaking lit. And this goes into alignment with the whole message for the collective. So here's the deal, Libra. You guys are at a crossroads. There is a decision to make. You do have an opportunity to, um, to move forward here. However, in order for your angels to help you out, right? You have to give them permission because they can't violate your free will. So with anything that you're on the struggle bus with or trying to you know, get more details into like what baggage am I carrying or whatever, just simply ask your angels to help you out and they will, you know, but for everyone else, I uh, love your faces, guys. That's been your soul session for May. I'm going over to my network, Vimeo, Patreon, all the places that I am to do you guys extended. I'm going to try to tease out some more information about um, this whole purpose thing and this whole uh, baggage thing that we got going on here to give you guys some more information to help you out in this month of May. So if you're about that life, follow me on over there. But if not, I still love your face and I will see you guys sooner than later, my friends.